Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Creative Coach Podcast. Today, I am showing you how to pack for destination weddings or any kind of destination travel where you have to fly with your photo or video equipment. So there's really only one thing you need to know, and that is batteries or anything with a battery in them cannot go in a checked bag. So I'm going to start with my very favorite backpack. This is the Peak Design backpack. So it has backpack straps, but it also opens up like this, which is like super nice and it's super easy to travel with and to shoot out of because you can just open it up and set it down wherever and have like full access to all your stuff. So in my backpack, this is gonna be one of my carry-ons because you can have a personal item and a carry-on bag in most situations. So this backpack and this carry-on are what I'm gonna have on me as I'm getting through the airport. This is also the two bags that I'm gonna have with me when I get on and off the plane. This suitcase that's gonna be checked has a risk of getting lost. So when I'm packing my carry-on bags, I'm assuming that this could be all I have with me to shoot the event. So as I'm thinking of what's gonna go in my carry-on bags, I'm thinking if my checked bag gets lost, what is in here that I can replace quickly by like a trip to Walmart if I'm stateside or a trip to any kind of store that might have tripods. And really that's all that's gonna be in this checked bag is gonna be tripods and light stands. So when I'm packing my carry-on, I have these little cube organizers. So in this bag, I have cameras and lenses. And of course you can bring as many camera bodies and as many lenses as you want, but I suggest having at least two in your carry-on and your two go-to lenses because your other camera bodies and lenses you can put in your checked bag, but have at least what you need to shoot with on your person. This is a bag of batteries because per TSA rules, you cannot check batteries. They have to be on your carry-on and on your person. So my bag of batteries and chargers is gonna go in here. Always bring your chargers. I'm also gonna throw my extra memory cards in my battery bag. Because you always need good memory cards. And this is a bag of audio equipment. And there is an LED panel in here, which is kind of like an emergency backup. If you're a photographer, instead of having an audio bag, you're probably gonna have like lighting, off-camera flashes, stuff like that, your flash controllers, all that good stuff. And so in this bag, I have a little bit of extra space. So this is where my personal carry-on items are gonna go. So like my phone, maybe a toothbrush, something else. You could pack extra clothes in here. This bag is just so big. You can actually fit four of these in here. So next up is my carry-on suitcase. So in here, I put my gimbal, or at least my gimbal battery, because I want that with me. I am somebody to, I want to be prepared in case they lose this bag. So I am just gonna pack the entire gimbal. So also in this carry-on bag, I'm gonna put in my lighting. So in here, I have the Genere Torpedoes, which I love. They are a good option, like an equal to the Aperture 60Ds. They're daylight balanced. They do have gels and they don't have a mobile app, uh, but I got them on a really good sale. So I'm gonna put those in here as well because I definitely want my lighting. And then I'm going to pack in and cushion my gimbal with the clothes I want to wear to my event. I do have some extra room, so I am going to throw my toiletry bag in here as well so that if this bag gets lost, I can still brush my teeth and I have my retainers. <laughs> so that is it for my carry-ons. So as I'm hauling it through the airport, I've got my Peak Design backpack and my little carry-on. So this is what I'm carrying with me all day long and it gets heavy. All right, so this is my huge suitcase. It's a hard shell. It's pretty solid. And I've also got this super long duffel bag. So 
where things get complicated when you're traveling with your gear is your light stands. So you've got two options for light stands. Here I've kind of got these like skinny flimsy ones. Not a bad option for travel if this can support your lights safely. And these lights fit in, or these light stands fit in my suitcase as well as my tripods. So why am I packing these in a suitcase instead of trying to carry them on? Well, you can find tripods at pretty much any store that sells general photography equipment. They might not be the nicest tripods you can find, but if for some reason this bag gets lost, you can run into a Walmart or a Target or a Costco, or if you're overseas, some kind of equivalent store, and you can pick up a couple tripods for nothing. So that's why I put these in my carry-on because I'm banking on being able to replace them if this bag gets lost. So where I said things get complicated is your light stands. So here I've got these little flimsy guys and here I've got the air cushion. Uh, you can obviously see a size difference and there's absolutely no way that these air cushion light stands are gonna fit in this bag. So that is where these super tall duffel bags come in. You can use these duffel bags instead of a big suitcase and just check this whole bag together. It really just depends on what you're comfy with. So if I was to bring my super tall light stands, I would pack this bag and check this bag. My tripods also fit in here and then I'm gonna pad and pack all of this with my clothes for the week and I'm just gonna check this bag. So if I'm gonna bring my big light stands, I just put all my clothes in here and I check this bag and I don't even bring this suitcase at all. And I am gonna bring this big duffel bag with me because since I'm flying, I don't have my like wagon that I carry all my stuff in. So I just fold this bag up and pack it. And then when I get to the hotel, I just pull my stands out and all my tall stuff and sometimes my gimbal. And this is what I pack it all in to take to the wedding. If for some reason I'm bringing my small stands instead of my tall ones. And if I bring my tall stands, I just pack all my clothes in here and then unpack my clothes at the hotel or whatever I'm staying and carry this bag to the wedding with the light stands and the tripods in them. And that is how I pack for destination weddings. All right, so a few notes on packing for destination weddings and just traveling for destination work anyway. If you're working out of your home state or the state that your business is registered in, you should ask your CPA about any tax implications there. Depending on the state you're traveling to, you may be required to pay them the sales tax. Another note is if you're traveling internationally, there's a lot of different laws that you need to be aware of. You should check and see, do you need to get a work visa to work there? Are you allowed to bring a limited number of cameras or camera bodies? Can you bring a drone into that country as an American and other things like that? So make sure that you're traveling safely. Make sure you have a buddy. Make sure you're sharing your location with somebody as you travel and stay safe out there. A traveling pro tip is to put an air tag 
in each of your bags. So put them in with your cameras, put them in your carry-on, put them in your big bag. So that way you know where it's gonna end up if your bag gets lost or if someone steals something, you might get lucky and be able to track it down if you've got an air tag on your stuff. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and learning how to pack for destination weddings and travel with gear. Really the only rule is you cannot check batteries and other than that, it's free game. So stay safe out there and if you're looking for any of this gear, check out my Kitco link in the comments.